it is I. I'm embodying all those words of wisdom. And we're going to let you do the exact same thing right now. It's time for you to get ready to spike up your fitness game with South African beach volleyball captain, Leo Williams in the building. <laughs> now, obviously, today's fitness segment, Leo's going to be bringing his expertise to the court and uh, right to your screens as well. He's going to be delivering something dynamic. It's a volleyball-themed workout. We were chatting to him earlier ahead of the brilliant games that are taking place where he's representing our country. So this is definitely going to be something that will bump, set, and spike your energy levels to new heights. You like what I did there, Leo? Yes. <laughs> you ready for this one, bro? I'm ready. I'm really I'm excited. Ready. The fact that I get to work with someone that is of a like-minded terrain, the beach, working on sand is tough, bro. It is hard work. It is incredible conditioning that you are doing to be able to compete in these events. So take me through how you get this body ready, especially for the games coming up next month. This is, well, actually, end of this month. It's soon, man. Yeah. Yeah, what do, you, what do you do first? How do we get this thing charged up? Let me see if I can give you some of my secrets. So <laughs> we'll, we'll start usually with some active, active stretch All over right. here. So you'll just go a little bit forward, and then we actually walk it out so that you actually also just warm up your knees over oh, there. So it's like a walking yeah. forward lunges, right? We there don't we have go. the liberty of a long, uh, long run, up, <laughs> run yeah. here. So right. before we get to the end of the cameras, there we go. let's pretend we would do that for a long stretch. There we, so go. we do about like 10 meters of that? About 10, 15 meters. And then besides that, I think the, the most important thing is that we're going to be jumping a lot. So yes. you really want to do like active squats. So you, you really go low down and then push up, like really okay. fast up, explosive up. Like an explosive, explosive sort of movement. Squat, charging yeah. and priming Charge. the muscles you Ex use to jump as well. Exactly. This makes sense, okay. And there's a lot of jumping. I know we were talking off camera. Roughly, how many jumps do you reckon you would actually do in a game? Like, I know you, you're going all the way to get it. It's maximum jump. So, the, I would say about uh, 150 to 200 jumps. What? That yeah. is insane. Because you have to attack and you have to and defend. And you're defending as well. Okay, so clearly there's a lot that goes into the leg work. How do you get these legs strong? How do you get the, just the body jacked up as well? Because there's also arms, arms involved in this too. Yes, a lot of arms. So I think I, maybe I'll get into this over here. Yeah. What we use are the bands and basically use these to warm up your shoulders. Nice. So you will have that over there and you'll somehow Warm up your shoulder. Ah, oh, so you're doing like so external rotator. rotations. So a go. lot of rotator cuff work and, and getting all those up. angles of the shoulder as well. So up. this would be like a... There we go. Oh, yes. yeah. Okay, yes. okay. Yes. So this is something you tie to a pole, to a get pole. a partner to assist yeah. you. Yeah. You're working a lot of external, internal rotations exactly. of the band. That makes a lot of sense because I know the amount of angles and the range you're putting yourself in with that maximum power and speed to clap that ball. Oh, there's a lot that goes into it, man. Clap it, yes. <laughs> and then... You want to you wanna warm up the back as well because you have to extend all the time and then hyper, hyper flex, right? Hyper flex yes, yes, and yes. then again whoop it. Yeah. So posterior chains yeah. coming into play, anterior chains, so yes. your scapula is also being worked quite a bit. There we go. Okay. That one over so there. The, these little bands are pretty effective because I know you can do that a lot. I mean, you've got a fancy one there, but yeah. a lot of peeps at home are starting to use these resistant bands. So again, I'm sure you could do the same thing by exactly. extending exactly. up and... Oh, putting a proper stimulus on the shoulder. Yeah. I used to do this for rehab work. <laughs> wow, man, you can never do enough of this. It no. is constantly something that we can all benefit from. Yeah. I love this. Do you break this up into sets? Yes. So around three sets of eight. Okay. You don't want to overdo because we need it for the game, right? So yeah, yeah. <laughs> save the power. Uh, so you just want to warm it up. Uh, three sets of eight. You're going to go into different movements for the shoulders. Keep changing those right angles. The back. There we go. Yeah. And bro, I can feel not just the shoulders as well, but the entire core needs to kind of uh, get you sit up properly. Otherwise, you just feel like you're going to collapse on yourself. Exactly. Very nice stuff. Exactly. Right. Loving the bands. This makes sense. Yes. Anything else? Any other toys and secrets you got for us? Well, before I start all of that, I always like to roll out the muscles. Hey, yeah, so yeah, just yeah. To, just to get it nice and relaxed. And then I do the work over there. And then the same with the foam roller for the back. Yeah. Because uh, with the age comes. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we can demo something like this because I think a lot of what you're doing is the stuff that we should be working on that no one actually focuses on. Yeah. A lot of people are just focusing on big squats, big, squats, big yeah. bench pressing. Yeah. You doing the work that I so believe in right yeah. now. It's preparation. It's those stabilizers, yes. activating the core priming. Maybe we can show off a little uh, example of what sure, you would sure, do with sure, this. Sure. I mean, you've got the, the hand stick roller there. Yeah. I've got the foam roller here. Yeah. So, I mean, working something like a lower back or glutes for lower you would be back, quite important. Yeah. Lower back. So I know we, we kind of sit on this, yeah. right? Bend go. the leg and get all a nice little stretch in. Yes. All the way down. Good. 
Oh, I missed this thing actually. It's perfect for a Monday morning. <laughs> I definitely suggest, Mzanzi, if you are starting your fitness journey or trying to replicate what Leo Williams is doing and become a champion, then your recovery game needs to be on point. And clearly, as you can see by all these tools that he has, he's prioritizing this type most, man. And, and I'm, I'm impressed with this because it's not often that I see athletes showing these secrets off, and that's exactly what it is, secrets. So thanks, man. Any, any other tips for us? Well, I think hydrate is yeah. very important. We Speaking drink. of, we, we, we got you covered. You want to oh, grab one of those? Yeah, yeah? thank you. Hi, obviously, because you. you're using so many electrolytes when you're playing, right? Yeah. In the sun, yeah. burning, sweating up. So Water is your friend. It is your friend. Well, cheers, man. Uh, officially, I'm going to call you my friend and Espresso's friend too. Thank you for coming through this morning. And we really are wishing you nothing but the best of luck. I think if you can just do what you always do, you're going to be perfect, man. You don't have yeah. to chase anything harder than that. You've been working for so long. Feels like your energy's right, so I'm going to wish you nothing but the best of luck, man. Go Thanks, rep SA, go do us proud, and enjoy, brother. Cheers. Thank Cheers, Mzanzi. I've enjoyed that as well, and hope you've been inspired, because I definitely have. <laughs>